Hey everybody, Paul Turner here from the discipleproject.net and on today I have a movie review for you and you know that if I'm reviewing a Christian movie, I have something good to say about it because normally I don't do reviews of Christian movies because they're not very good. Uh, they're not well acted, they're not well directed, they're not well anything. And so today I'm happy to bring to you uh, my review of The Case for Christ, which is based on Lee Strobel's book. Uh, the Case for Christ came out in 1998, and it catalogs his journey from being an investigative reporter, atheist skeptic, uh, to coming to faith in Christ. And it is a really, really good movie. It is uh, set in the 70s. Uh, that's my first big uh, love of this because in the 70s, I grew up in the 70s, uh, and I know it's in the 70s because it has the commercial where the owl and the Tootsie Pop and the... Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three... <laughs> It also has Carry On My Wayward Son by Kansas uh, in it, and so I am enjoying the vibe of the movie. That's my first big love of the movie there. The movie is directed by John Gunn, who has also written for some other Christian movies, such as Mercy Street, and also directed My Date with Drew, starring Drew Barrymore. And Gunn does a superb job with this movie. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, I'm watching the movie and I'm forgetting that this is a Christian movie, which to me is entirely the point uh, that good art is good art, whether it's a Christian movie or not a Christian movie. Uh, there are great directors who can do this very well. Christian directors have not figured that out yet because they make their movies very heavy handed, uh, very preachy, uh, very much, you know, they might as well just hold up a sign that says this movie is about Jesus. And this movie, the way John Gunn directs the movie, he does just as a, does a superb job of meshing not just one story, not just the story of Lee Strobel's journey uh, from atheism to belief, but all these other kind of stories, his story, stories that are going on uh, in his work as an investigative reporter, uh, stories between him and his wife and his marriage. Uh, and he meshes these stories really, really well together. The tone and the realism of the movie really captures my attention because it's not, like I said, it's not sappy. It's not, there's no over the top uh, type of moments in the movie. I'm looking at you facing the giants. Stop it. So what we have here is a movie that is actually well-crafted uh, from beginning to end, which once again, most Christian movies cannot boast that. I also love the experts in the movie. Now, Case for Christ is an apologetics book, and the experts in the movie uh, kind of stack up to kind of show you the big points of why there is evidence for the resurrection of Christ. And the experts are not goofy. They're not silly. They're not over the top. In fact, Faye Dunaway plays one of these experts. She does a great job of it. Uh, but these experts are not uh, silly people. They are smart. They're intelligent. Uh, and if I did not know that they were actors, I might believe that they were actually experts. They're, they're really... Uh, reasonable people bringing reasonable thoughts to the table and really challenging him, which if you are not a believer, which I believe will also challenge you as well. One of the big reasons this movie separates itself from its other cheesy counterparts is the acting. Mike Vogel uh, from Cloverfield fame plays Lee Strobel. There are times that I think that I have just slipped in and somebody has now shut off the movie and I feel like I'm watching This Is Us because the Lee Strobel character reminds me a lot of Jack Pearson uh, from uh, the show, the TV show, but Mike Vogel sells it. There is not a time when I don't believe that he is not being Lee Strobel, uh, that I have bought into the character. He does. He's not over the top. He's not cheesy. He's not... Uh, he's a real, real person who's going through real struggles, crisis of, of disbelief in the fact that his wife becomes a Christian, and now he is trying to spend his time uh, amongst his job and other things that are going on, uh, trying to basically uh, uh, accumulate this evidence to uh, cause his wife uh, to disbelieve, to show that, look, this is all hokey. This is all nonsense. You don't need to get into all this. And it shows, the movie shows that, uh, that there are real life problems here, that when there are people who become Christians and people who are not Christians, that there are people who have two different belief systems, uh, there's marriage, there's, I mean, look, this is real life stuff. And that is what, uh, the acting really brings out of this. And of course, um, Mike doesn't do this by himself. He has a great wife in this, played by Erica Christensen, and she does a phenomenal job. She's from she's done movies like Parenthood, Flight Plan. Uh, she plays Leslie Strobel, and she does an excellent job of of really 
um, showing forth the hurt and being confused and a wife trying to understand her own faith, her newfound faith and her marriage at the same time. She's trying to save the marriage. She's trying to do some things. And it, But the acting is just so well done. Kudos to those guys for pushing out the realism of this movie. So yes, is this a great movie to bring maybe... Uh, high school 16 and older to go see as far as the apologetics are concerned yes is it good to bring college students absolutely is it good to bring people who are struggling or uh trying to work out their faith yes but one thing that i did not expect from this movie i expected it to be a thinking movie uh, i did not expect it to be a feeling movie and what this movie did for me is it uh, I mean, I was totally there with, with the intellectual part, but the movie does such a good job of bringing about the feelings, the real hurt, the real pain, the real struggle of a real family dealing with real faith issues, uh, Lee Strobel's own interpersonal pain dealing with the things that he's in with, with his father and other things that are going on with that, uh, with the performances uh, by Erica Christensen does a great job with with bringing to the table these these feeling moments that I totally buy into. It's not cheesy. It's not terrible. It's it's really good. And so if you're looking for a movie that will challenge you intellectually, but also will give you the feels, this is that movie. And I was shocked and surprised by that. Uh, so I think you'll also be shocked and surprised by how good and how well this movie was made, and you'll be able to recommend it to other people just like I am recommending it to you. So if you have seen the movie, I would love to hear from you. What did you think about the movie? Leave me some comments down below. If this is your first time here, thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. appreciate you being here. Uh, if you would like to get videos like this in your inbox, go ahead and click on my circle head somewhere around here, and that will get videos like this in your inbox. Also, if you're a regular, would love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts about the movie. So next time, guys, have a great day and go out and see The Case for Christ. Support good Christian movies so that they will go and make more good Christian movies. So that's it for today, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.